spread out on the dash. Running man, how I get to the cash? Hey, this polo's Gucci, no Lauren. Uh, she said I'm too fly, be touring. Hey, Ritz looking like I poured it. Flat, James Harden, how I'm scoring. Uh, Riding the two when I head to the bush. Eyes low, I be off for the cuz. VB's on, all I feel is the lugs. Pockets full, shit look like a buck. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Western Illinois Leathernecks Legacy here on College Hoops 2K8. That is right, it is time for another season as we take a look at our team here. Derek Gonzalez, Aries McKnight, Kevin Pride, Stephen Curry, Tony Medicine, Fundamentals, Tyrell Rainmaker, Jack Kirkman, Ryan Boyd. These are some of the guys that look to make an impact this season. Purvis Burnett could take a red shirt. Rich Bigby, Horshack, Hobblesnack. A lot of these guys looking to make an impact this year. Glenn Jenkins, Preston Walker. Some of these guys might take red shirts for sure. Benjamin Watts. However, it is time for the opening scrimmage. We'll see what these guys have in store, what kind of skill sets they have as we set up the squads to look somewhat like this. Rainmaker, Gonzalez, Pride, Hobblesnack, and Burnett will take on the other half of the squad. Look at Rainmaker going right up and in for the two. Then Tony Medicine going to get a long two coming right back. Rainmaker really doing a really good job slashing so far in this one. He's got purple up 7-2 to two until Tony Medicine nails the three. He's got all the points right now for the white team. Now at a 14-10 to 10 going inside. Fundamentals with the board and he will go up for the putback. This game's really close now. And there's Fundamentals again, really getting it done off the glass and the putbacks. And then Tony Medicine with the corner three gives White the lead after they were down a little bit here early. Now we have a tie ball game there, and there's Boyd. He's going to pass this one out to Rainmaker for three. Rainmaker playing really, really well in the early goings. Medicine with another three. He's got 11 of the 20 for the White. Now inside, and that's Jenkins with some more points. Then Gonzalez hitting from outside. We know he's got the skill set. Then inside is Burnett trying to say, hey, don't redshirt me this year. Horshack Hobblesnack inside the Jenkins, and Jenkins getting it done inside. But Medicine again, showing off that three-point skill, keeping this game close. Rainmaker from outside is going to answer back with a three. He's got 14. Rainmaker getting back in there. He's got 16 now. Rainmaker just getting it done. Tony Medicine getting it done as well with a nice little drive. Then a foul on Kirkman there is going to provide an a nine-point lead for Purple. And a nice shot right there off the banker for it, Burnett. Kirkman getting inside and getting some points there. That's a good thing to see. And Medicine on the breakaway, going to stop it and pop it for three. It's a nine-point lead, however, for Purple. Make it 11 after that point from Hudson. Then Gonzalez from the outside. We know it. We know he can drain those. Inside comes Big B, and Big B going to get in there for some points. His 10th point of the evening. And then a nice little steal right there and put in for Hudson. Now inside, you got Kirkman again, and the foul. It's still an 11-point game with three minutes to go, but Tony Medicine going to miss, and Fundamentals again. Another great board and put in. Nine-point game, and Gonzalez way outside, looking like Stephen Curry out here. And then a nice shot right there. We got a 15-point game. Tony Medicine just going to try and get some dignity for the white side there with some nice points and medicine at the end of the ball game would miss one and it would be 80 to 67 in favor of the purple squad curry with six points in this one tony medicine with 28 points he was big for the white team four for aries mcknight 10 for big b did he do enough with 10 points eight rebounds to not take a red shirt this season we'll find out 12 points, 14 boards for fundamentals. That is the kind of game we want to see from him all season long. Seven for Kirkman. And no points for either Walker or um, 
bets, so they're probably going to get uh, redshirted for sure. Rainmaker with 16 points, 31 points for Gonzalez, cementing himself as the starting point guard, I believe, there, or the starting shooting guard, that is, over Tony Medicine, even though Tony Medicine had a fantastic game. And then a bunch of single digits. Burnett had 6.7 boards, but I think we're going to redshirt him anyways, maybe, just to kind of give him a little more experience. Let's see what we have out here. So as we set the rotation, we'll see what it's going to look like. We are going to put Tyrell Rainmaker starting point guard and Gonzalez starting shooting guard. That's something we need to do for sure. Here's what our recruiting is looking like early on. We got one guy at 72%. This is going to be a tough recruiting season as well, just like last year was. I can already tell there's not a lot of guys immediately interested in the program, and why would they be? We won, what, eight games last year or five? It was really a bad season, but we're hoping we can have a better season this year, maybe a little more chemistry on the squad. Maybe that will help out. We'll see. We've got a pretty tough schedule. Wait do you see. We are facing Kansas first. They are number 25. They are already 1-0. It's going to be a really tough ball game. Hopefully we can get the job done. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below what your predictions are for this game at number 25, Kansas. Do we even have a chance? Find out next time on the Western Illinois Leathernecks Legacy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. There's plenty more Leathernecks coming your way.